Hello, today is tough. Think a time trial. The track and field is closed. We have the treadmill, the 360 camera, the linear camera, the Pro, the A6 meta razor with the carbon plate, and the stride pot. And of course, the Garmin. So, finger crossed, guys, it will be tough. Let's see. <laughs> All the best to me. <laughs> see you later. So. stuff uh, especially after the kilometer seven uh, it was really tough I don't know I mean I felt my legs good uh, after the seventh kilometer uh, it was really uh, difficult <laughs> but <clears throat> Still, the seventh kilometer was uh, fine, so the feeling was good. Yeah, let's try to to see together uh, what are these uh, training tables in detail, uh, so that may, maybe you can adjust uh, for yourself. Because I did, for instance, some small changes in a slow run pace. I think it was too fast for me. Uh, so that you can reach your goal. If you feel uh, <clears throat> some training session uh, too tough, so also looks to the metrics, uh, then you should change. I actually did all the trainings according to the table, the interval trainings, and the yeah, and the short, uh, fast uh, repeats. I did exactly at the pace indicated in the table. But as I said, the slow run was a bit too fast. First week, I realized it was uh, too much for me. I mean, guys, I'm old, <laughs> uh, so I need uh, more recovery time. Uh, but yeah, it depends on your on your recovery time. Uh, but for me, it was a bit too much. Therefore, I understood that I had I needed more recovery time. Therefore, I slowed down a bit the, the slow running, mm. and uh, it works. Uh, so. Let's have a look to the table, okay? All the trainings are in Strava, under my profile. Uh, yeah, but let's discuss together 
what was the difficult part, what was the uh, easy and funny training. Uh, let's discuss together. Now I will get a shower and see you in a minute. By the way, Meta Razor, Schuber for a 10K, really a great feeling, a great rebound. Really, you can feel the carbon plate. So well done, Azix. Let's see what power has been recorded. And yeah, uh, hard. <laughs> The average power recorded is 311 watts uh, with uh, uh, an average pace uh, of 3 minutes 35 seconds per kilometer, meaning 5 minutes 47 seconds per mile, with a cadence of 182 strides per minute, an average heart rate of uh, 154 beats per minute, and an average ground contact time of uh, 187 uh, milliseconds. You can find lots of other metrics uh, in Power Center web portal if you use the Stride port. It's interesting to see all these metrics uh, changing in the graph according to the time or distance. I will explain those in a separate video which I will link up here or here. <laughs> uh, interesting to see also that uh, it was the kilometer height uh, when it started to be tough for me and not the seventh due to the increased heart rate uh, recorded and uh, also the increased pace in the last kilometer the final time was 35 minutes uh, 52 seconds of course closer to 36 minutes uh, than to 34 minutes but i was chasing a 10k faster than 36 minutes so it was a good achievement for me i took this six weeks training program from a famous italian uh, coach orlando pizzolato uh, thank you, Orlando. And it was indicated as uh, an advanced program uh, to achieve 35 minutes in a 10K. Important to remark uh, that this year, uh, due to the virus, uh, I was preparing only an half marathon, uh, which was cancelled, uh, and I had always fast uh, sessions. I was even able to run a 5K time trial uh, with a final time of uh, 16 minutes uh, 58 seconds uh, in October. So I was somehow uh, training all the time. That being said, uh, I wanted to try the program uh, suggested by Pizzolato because in the last 10k races or time trials, uh, I always started to uh, struggling really early uh, from the kilometer sixth. Uh, so I wanted to change my uh, preparation and uh, try something different. In the Pizzolato program, I saw that uh, there are lots of uh, sessions with long repeats like uh, 2k or even 3k. Uh, that helped me a lot uh, during the time trial. Uh, in fact, this time uh, it didn't start to uh, be tough uh, after the sixth kilometer as usual, but between the seventh, eighth kilometer, according to my feeling and also to the metrics. So it seems that I had to increase uh, a bit the volume uh, of my preparation. Even if I 10k, uh, for me it's still considered a uh, fast race, uh, of course not like the 5k, uh, um, but still fast. And this is exactly what was probably wrong in my previous uh, training program. Then of course there are uh, in the same week short and long repeats, uh, as I was used to do as well. Uh, but the interesting thing is also the slow running session. I had to run uh, most of the times 13 to 15 kilometers on an average pace of uh, 4 minutes 90 seconds per kilometer or uh, 6 minutes 57 seconds per mile. That is not that slow. Uh, so longer and faster than my uh, previous programs. So more volume and also more quality at the same time. The program even includes a 20 kilometer session on uh, Sunday uh, on the third week. Uh, with um, 15 km at uh, slow pace and uh, 5 km at a medium pace, just to give you an idea. Honestly, I have to say that uh, sometimes the slow running, uh, it was too fast for me, not that slow, and the recovery time was uh, longer than expected, maybe because I'm home. And therefore, when I understood it, uh, slightly, I slightly changed the pace, increasing it with uh, five minutes, uh, uh, sorry, five seconds uh, more per kilometer. 
so this was good uh, uh, for the training uh, on the day after uh, because I was rested enough and uh, I was looking to have a better quality session uh, rather than uh, have a faster slow uh, running session. What I always like in these uh, kind of programs uh, are the short repeats. I love them uh, because they are faster, more intensive and shorter and uh, fits well with my uh, time schedule during the day. For the long repeats and also for the slow running, uh, you have to invest more than one hour, uh, sometimes close to one hour and a half, um, if you include also the warm up. And uh, this is too much uh, for my time schedule. Uh, I had to wake up early in the morning uh, for this reason and uh, do these tough sessions uh, before to go to work. That was tough as well. Another thing uh, to consider that I changed in the program is the number of training uh, in a week. Uh, it was also suggested by Pizzolato. For who runs five times per week, uh, it's better to skip uh, one training on Wednesday or on Friday, not both. Um, and yes, this is my case. So most of the time I skipped the um, training on Wednesday to ensure a better fast and uh, quality session on Thursday. The tough part uh, for me was uh, the six repeats uh, of two kilometer faster than the race pace, circa five seconds per kilometer, and the three times three kilometer at the same pace. And of course, the first week starting uh, immediately with uh, five times 2K uh, for me was not that easy considering that I was not used of uh, this intensive uh, uh, training volume for a 10K preparation. So, as usual, no pain, no gain. Recovery times are well calculated, uh, sometimes even too long uh, for me, but I didn't change it. So, overall, the program worked well. Uh, I achieved 35 minutes, uh, even if uh, closer to 36 minutes than uh, 34 minutes. Uh, still, 35 minutes as announced by the program. And uh, the day after uh, the time trial, I was not that tired. Uh, what I would suggest uh, is to avoid such program if you are far from this pace, uh, for instance 37 minutes or 38 minutes in a 10k and uh, to fill your body uh, along the trainings and uh, slightly adjust the program according to it. So guys, uh, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to leave the thumbs up and uh, to consider to subscribe to the channel and uh, to follow me on Strava and uh, Instagram. Uh, you can find the link in the description below. As usual, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Ciao!